Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for a new OP, and this game is one that we need to get started. And thank you, Game Freaks, for making this for Game Freak. Because you made a wonderful game, at least in my opinion. And brought me back to this thing called Pokemon again. And we start off with a wonderfully odd introduction. What the fuck? A castle? A crown? Some guy in a robe? What is this? Some religious cult? Now they're pre Oh my goodness, what is going on? So we have this guy, this throne. And this guy's like, Welcome to New King, motherfuckers! And this kid is apparently the new monarch. What the hell? And he's having history flashbacks. Holy crap, he's a Pokemon trainer, and he has a Millennium Puzzle Box. What the fuck? What's going on, game? What are you doing? You're mixing a lot of things at once in some girls. And we now have our new king. And a new Pokemon game. Popes. Uh -huh. Oh, nice bridge. Damn. Dreams. And a Pokemon sleep. Discoveries. What the fuck? Took transporting. And of course, adventures await you and your Pokemon. And this is Pokemon Black. Subtitle version. And this game is basically the game that got me back into fucking Pokemon. I'm not going to go too much into detail because the intro video is supposed to cover all that, but I will say that this game is wonderful. I can see why it's one of the best selling DS games of its time. I mean, I believe it's sold 5 million copies, maybe more. I know it had a million pre-orders, so fucking hell, this game is serious business. And you're probably wondering what the hell that dragon is to the left. We'll figure him out soon enough, but for now, let's get started with this game. Sup, dragon? Roar like you mean it. And we got options already at the beginning. New game. Mystery gift. Uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi settings, because that's important. Mic test. Mic test is not important. Don't fucking give a shit about it, because if you have a DS, hopefully the mic works on it. If not, there's a problem. Nevertheless, Mystery Gift is one thing that you will probably wonder about if you first got the game. It's like, wait, do I get a free gift? Depends. If you got the fr game right, right around the re release date, the Nintendo was kind enough to release some little uh, small side quests that you can do in order to get a nice legendary Pokemon. One that's very exclusive. And I will tell you this, that exclusive Pokemon is pretty fucking awesome if you know what I'm talking about. Its name is Victini. Uh, basically, it's supposed to represent victory, as in the victory Pokemon. This guy is pretty damn awesome. I mean, he's a psychic fire type. How could you go wrong with that? But we're not going to talk too much about that, because, you know, some people not, might not even touch this game at all. So, let's go to new game. Hey, what the hell? Where's my Professor O? Oh, wait, this is a Pokemon yet. So, what's up, lady? How are you? What's your position? What's your occupation? Welcome to World Pokemon. I know. Your name is Professor Juniper. Oh, really? So, yes, this is Professor Juniper. Basically, the professor of the Unova League, or the Unova region. Basically, she's going to serve as the staple professor blank. And she's going to be pretty much your infor information giver or in gatherer. You're gonna gather information for her, and she's gonna give you nice stuff in return. That's, I guess, it's better than, say, Professor Oak. The only thing he gave me was a pat on the back and pointing me at the door. He's like, get some old fucking Pokemon game now. I just got this shit. Alright, so yes, Professor Juniper, and she seems to be a nice looking lady at that. We got the ball. Is it Pikachu? Whoa, no, it's not. What the hell is that? Is that some to be some sort of Pikachu hybrid. Holy god, they're crossbreeding? No, that's gonna be some Pokemon we're gonna learn about in this new region, because here's the thing about this new region. They freaking made 150 po new Pokemon for this region alone. That's telling you something. It's like, oh shit, that means I have to kind of play out the game all over again. That's right. That's what the game's trying to do again. So yes, she's going to explain how the world is inhabited by these mysterious creatures that we've known about for the past four generations, called Pokemon. 
Pokemon have mysterious powers that come in many shapes and live in many different places, just like people. They, we humans live happily with Pokemon, except when the time when they jump you and accidentally step in a bush and they jump out and try to kill you. That's where you have your own Pokemon to battle with that Pokemon, beat the shit out of him, capture the ball, and parade him around like you did you. That's pretty much the Pokemon way. So very, apparently Pokemon are happily living with people and working with one another and complimenting each other. I wish I could hear what my Pikachu's yet telling me. Yo, 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 you suck, Pikachu. Oh, that's so cute. So yes, we help out each other to accomplish different tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is a particular moment where it deepens the bond between people and Pokemon. Yes, I'm pretty sure that uh, using Pokemon as a means of gambling and all that good stuff is fun too. No, not really, but basically there's Pokemon battles, and that's basically the main premise of Pokemon. The Pokemon games, where you basically go around eating the shit out of other people's Pokemon with your own, taking their money, and saying, on the boss, you step down. So yeah, that's pretty much the idea. And of course this guy, little guy is just waving to us the whole time and saying, There's nothing going to be horribly wrong in this game for you at all. So yes, let's get started. And that's why you research Pokemon. So wait, you research Pokemon so because people battle the crap out of each other and that they're all different? Well, I guess that's a good job to have considering that you mean you'll never get boring in a battle and you would probably get a lot of money because you'd be like, Here's the encyclopedia of Pokemon. Out of that. So yes, Juniper has a good occupation, but that's enough about her, damn it. Can I tell about myself or the main character? Yes, we can talk about the main character. Let's see. Wait, what? Boy or girl? You're asking the main character this? Okay, so we have this guy and we have this girl. These people have their names, and they're pretty much the same character. They both have brown hair, in a sense. But they have different clothing. One has shorts, one has stylish pants. We're gonna go with the guy with the stylish pants, because he looks like he's he's got a good head on his shoulders. You're a boy, right? Oh, you're asking the boy this. You're a son of a fucking man. And of course he said yes. I'd like to know your name. Okay, let's, what's this guy's name? Well, we have a number of choices that we can go with. And I'm not gonna name this guy myself, because I don't want to freak myself out when I fight another waddler. Like, what the fuck just happened? So yes, we're going to name this guy the generic, or the, the expected name of this character. We're going to name this guy Hilbert, and we're going to call him Bert for short, or Hill. We can just call him Hilbert. I don't know. Just some, we're just going to call this guy Hilbert, because that's technically the character's name. And we're going to go with that as certain. My name is... Your name is Hilbert? Uh, yeah. Your name's Hil- So your name's Hilbert. What a wonderful name. Uh, I don't know, Lee. Hilbert doesn't sound right in my, in my head. But we'll go with it because, I mean, this guy seems pretty cool. And wait, you're gonna introduce Hilbert to your his two best friends? What? Uh, okay. You think Hilbert would know his two best friends? Okay, this guy is... This young man is Sharon. And this guy looks like he's going to be a know-it-all douchebag, possibly. I don't know. Just from the tie and the glasses and the expression of I'm thinking very hard, it just makes me think he's not going to be the most pleasant guy to be around. Let's see if the game's, what the game says. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. He can, he can be a little, diff little difficult, but he is a very honest person. So that means he'll be very critical, but you'll love him anyway. Awesome. And this young woman is Beyonce. Bianca, wait, what? Why are they calling her young woman? What about young man with the freaking boy or girl question? Mm -hmm. So yes, this is Bianca. And she's a little flighty, but she works very hard, so she's ditzy but determined. I like that. Hopefully. Hopefully her ditziness is not too bad. And of course, they don't tell a damn thing about Hilbert. It's like, yeah, we don't know a damn thing about you other than that your name is Hilbert. Awesome. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Oh, I wonder what it is. Hilbert, the moment you choose your Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, we'll meet many people 
Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. So, is that respectively or both ways? Like, you know, I doubt Pokemon have points of views exactly. It's a beat, bang, kill, destroy, murder, vanquish, knock out, bang, sleep. Okay. So, yes, I really hope that you find what is important to you on these travels. Yes, I hope I find the end of the game. That's right, befriend new Pokemon and people in Pokemon and grow as a person. Oh, really? That is the most important goal of your journey. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Yes, please get me started. So yes, guys. Wait, Autumn, what? Okay, that's new. So yes, Game Freak presents... Oh god. Good music. Pokemon Black version. Wait, what are you doing? You infiltrating that house? You didn't knock? Okay, Juniper, don't be sneaking around stealing people's stuff. Oh, wait, what the hell? Hilbert! I heard from Professor Juniper we can have a Pokemon? Yeah. What's inside the... I guess that's what's inside the box? What's keeping Bianca? Uh, remember? Did see? But determined? She's, she'll be here, don't worry. See, look. What the fuck? Am I a little late again? Sorry! Oh, don't even be starting that sorry crap. Keep that board game in another, in another shelf, damn it. Bianca, I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time, but seriously, today's the day we get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. Yes, that means you guys need to both be next to me. Oh no, sorry, Hobart, sorry, Sharon. Yeah, you better be sorry. You don't, you're starting to piss me off. Bianca. I mean, Ditsy is fine, but Super Ditsy is like, no. Just, just don't trip over all my stuff and break my Wii. So where are the Pokemon? Oh, that's a good question. You see that box with blue and green on it? Yeah. They were delivered to Hilbert's house, so hope Hilbert gets first pick. Naturally. Oh boy. Pokemon for waiting us inside that gift box. Okay, Hilbert, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. So these two best friends seem to be very generous in just letting me get the first dibs. Wow. What do you guys say? Ooh, what kind of Pokemon could they be? Uh, Bianca, pay attention. Starter types. Red, green, blue. Water, fire, grass, dark. So it looks like Bianca is not very clueful or clued in on what the starter types are going to be. And let's see what you have to say. Would you get a move on and open the box already? God, don't rush me, fucker. Just ask me what you think. I'm sure the Pokemon are just as excited to meet us. Yes, fine. Alright, well, I get to get first dibs, so screw you other guys. Okay, what's this say? I brought three Pokemon, one for you and one of each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. We already did that. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Shepard. Okay, so let's see what we got in this damn box. Three Pokeballs, of course, and we get our choices. Oh, interesting. So we have the Fire-type Pokemon, Pig. I am not picking you, because I know the story about Pig. Pig is basically the game's easy pick, because here's the thing about Pig. Pig will be a very big asset, because from one thing I've learned about this game, there are not a lot of fighting or fire types. Uh, for one thing, you, the first fire type you'll get is very well into the game, or at least well enough that you won't, you'll be wishing you had one. But at the same time, this fire type is going to be a very generic thing in the end. This guy will evolve into a fire fighting type, and you know how many fire fighting types I've seen already to be a little bit bored of it, and that were starters too. So, do you really need a third one? No hole. No hole. Pick him unless you really want to. I I just don't want to pick Tay Pig for those reasons alone. However, if you do want to pick him, just note that his actor, his speed is pretty much gonna be slowest compared to the other starters, but his strength is going to be extremely good. Like his attack power is the king of these three. You will probably have also pretty good HP, but that's Tay Pig in a nutshell. We have Snively. Snively is an interesting grass type. For one thing, he is not... He's pretty much the fastest of the three. Also, he is actually the most fragile of the three, but nice, luckily, nice thing about Snively is his, his defense is, makes him so that he doesn't die like that. Problem is, is that he is still a grass type, and grass types have this 
huge, huge problem. While they do have weak, or they do have advantages over the most common types of water and ground, which are very dangerous Pokemon when you have other ground types and whatnot, they are also one of the most weakest in terms of having so many weaknesses. It's like six or seven. You could count them on one hand and end on, on the other. It's really questionable when you pick a grass type as your starter. Not to say that starters have had bad, or grass type starters have had bad showings. Like for instance, Bulbasaur is a great starter because he has I mean, he has some weaknesses that got cancelled off with his second type, Poison. And then we had a grass ground type, and then he had some decent grass types in the other ones. I'd say Snively is kind of like that, but at the same time, Snively is not going to be your office and offensive ass-kicking guy kind of guy. You're going to have to figure out how to use him. So he's kind of tricky, and also he's the one I started using in my my actual copy of this game. So I'm going to go with the Oshuant because his nickname is Oshuant. Because this guy is going to be your water type, or can be your water type. Uh, he's pretty good. I'd say he's pretty much well-rounded of the three. But he does have a bit of a speed problem. But he does get end up having the best special attack of the three. And his speed is a little bit faster than I'd say than uh, Pei Pei in some respects. Uh, he also is a water type, so that means you can give his fucking ass serve, and you won't have to worry about dragging another Pokemon, a water type Pokemon that might suck, with you to just make or run around in the waves for a bit. So I'm going to pick this lovable guy because his fucking shell is so adorable in that face, that face. So yes, I want to pick my fucking Oshawa. Damn it, Hilbert chose Oshawa. Okay, okay, Bianca, I'll take this Pokemon. Sharon, that, that one's yours. Wait, why are you choosing Sharon's Pokemon? Let him fucking pick on his own, dammit. Of course, Sharon gladly uh, questions this big time. But apparently he got what he wanted. Damn it. Anyways, wait, you got Snively? Oh, shh. Oh, boy, I'm starting to see what you guys are going to be. Looks like I have a feeling Bianca is going to be... We'll get to that. So yes, everyone's chosen Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know, let's have a Pokemon battle. Wait, what? In my fucking room? At least in Hilbert's room. He'll have something to say about that. Okay, so it looks like Hilbert has a dilemma. People want to fight him in his fucking household. What the hell? So, what will Hilbert do? Will he gladly accept, or will he have no choice? So, next time, guys. The, sh the quest begins with Hilbert battling his friends, so thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.